My name is Alex Jacobs or Galunyak Dagi. I'm an Akwazasne Mohawk from the uh, Mohawk Territory along the St. Lawrence River between New York and uh, Canada, Quebec, Ontario, New York. I'm a visual artist and a performing poet, spoken word poet. I've been in Santa Fe based here for about 25 years. Well, first of all, uh, 500 years ago plus, um, books were new, media was just being invented, um, and what started media was the letters from Columbus uh, and his crew uh, coming back to Europe and all these fantastical uh, stories being told about the land and the creatures and the uh, natives were included as uh, fantastical uh, mythological monsters and, and creatures. Uh, and there was an argument over whether they had souls. And uh, uh, I believe the Pope came out and said that the, the natives did have souls and could not be enslaved. But of course, uh, they needed their gold and silver. And so that was basically never enforced and eventually overturned. So everything that started about America was uh, untrue, was a myth, was legendary. And that's the basis for all kinds of law today in the United States of America and in, in the uh, Christian domination. That's all based on, on lies and untruths and, and myths. And it started with all this fantastical um, uh, information coming from America back to Europe. Columbus's letters and uh, they got people, artists to make images to match these stories and it was all just, again, uh, fantasy. And uh, 1492 was, uh, you know, should you celebrate it as the discovery of America? I think for most people, especially Europeans and even Americans, consider it a time to discover Native Americans discover the inhabitants who were here first. Um, the uh, diseases, especially smallpox, decimated all the tribes in the Americas, some up to 95 percent. So there were millions and millions and millions of, of people here. Um, and there was only, it was, uh, it was a real decimation. A decimation meaning uh, one out of ten survived. Uh, and when you use the, use the word uh, discovery, uh, there were a lot of things uh, discovered. A lot of things that that uh, were discovered that led to other discoveries. And um, the the Italians, uh, as immigrants to the Americas, uh, weren't even considered white Americans. Like Irish and Italians, uh, they were not considered uh, uh, white Americans, uh, as uh, the Northern European white Anglo-Saxon Protestants were. So that's where Columbus Day came about. The Irish had already had St. Patrick's Day uh, to find a, a place for them in, in America, and the Italians had uh, Columbus Day to find a place for them in America. I think in the modern times, the only thing you can get that's positive is, uh, is just plain discovery. Just any other things uh, that led to discovery uh, about science and space and all that. That's about the only positive thing you can you can relate to that to because what happened when Europe found out about the Americas again it turned their world upside down and so uh, in it uh, all these foods uh, came and influenced European uh, culture you know, a lot of these things, uh, uh, people didn't know it came from Americas because it took a roundabout way to get around the world, but it ended up in Europe and Africa and Asia, but it came from the Americas. So all this discovery, including uh, about religion and law and philosophy and democracy that came from the native people here, uh, all this discovery, I think it's the only positive thing you can talk about. Uh, uh, if you want to consider it a time of um, to celebrate anything, 
is to consider all the contributions from the Americas to the world and uh, think about future discoveries in science, space, and, um, and law, probably. So why do you think it's important that uh, we um, progressively want to change Christopher for Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day here? Well, again, people don't even know that Native people exist, you know. Um, and there are, na there are Native inhabitants in, in, from North Pole to South Pole. And so people are just uh, now and again discovering that the Natives and Indians and Indio still exist in all the Americas. We survived. We survived genocide and ethnic cleansing and cultural genocide. So we're here and we're not going away. And um, all our contributions, um, again, are they, that's what should be discovered. So um, that's what, uh, and there is the, the movement, the shift in history and time. First it's cities and then it's uh, whole states uh, are recognizing uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. And I'm sure there'll be places that will still uh, celebrate Columbus Day. But uh, again, that should be replaced with discovery. Discovery this, discovery that, what it means to people today. Uh, not about myths and legends and um, uh, untruths. Um, again, and that's, it's a time to find out about Native people and that they're still here and we're still contributing to uh, today's society. And among the uh, contributions of Native Americans uh, to the world, um, my people, the Iroquois Confederacy, uh, the Mohawk, the Seneca, Onondaga, Cayuga, Oneida, and uh, Tuscarora, um, we had our own um, Iroquois Confederacy, our own Iroquois Constitution. And this uh, actually did influence Benjamin Franklin and the Founding Fathers uh, when they uh, wrote the American um, Constitution during the uh, American Revolution. Because up until that time, they were still Europeans. They were still English. They were Dutch and German. Um, and they didn't they have to take on anything that was American. They dressed up like Indians to protest taxes. Uh, they, uh, the rattlesnake was on the, one of their first flags because it was American. So practically overnight they had to disassociate from uh, Europe and England and royalty and find American uh, things. And uh, they, uh, the, ones, the, the things they didn't take from the Iroquois Constitution into the American uh, Constitution was the rights of uh, women and children. Since it was the so-called founding fathers uh, were mostly uh, white property owning, land owning, slave owning uh, males. And so a lot of that stuff was just left out. The whole seventh generation um, uh, philosophy was left out. And, uh, and to this day, now we have, you know, you talk about fake news and fake media and uh, mythology. Um, now you have conservatives looking back at the founding fathers of America um, in uh, talking about what they got from Europe uh, after having trying to escape or to disassociate themselves from Europe. But the democracy uh, it came from Greece and um, in Rome and there was elements of common law in, in England and Europe but uh, Slavery and uh, hierarchies and uh, uh, royalty and peasants and feudalism all existed. Slavery existed with democracy from the beginning. It was in the Americas where the, uh, uh, the philosophy of Native Americans in different societies created, I think, an American uh, democracy and freedom and individualism that is really what the basis of America is all about. That whole thing that was said 500 years ago, if America wasn't real we would have to have made it up. Well they did find a lot of things in America and it was native philosophy, law and religion 
is uh, was important then and it's important now.